Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this cantilever indeterminate truss. First we have to find the degree of static indeterminacy. This is the formula to find that in the cantilever truss. M is the number of the members. There are three members AD, BD and CD. We should not consider AB and BC as the members because these are the fixed ends in the cantilever truss. So M is 3. J is the number of the joints. There is only one joint that is joint D. We should not consider A, B and C as the joints because these points are in the fixed end. For the degree of static indeterminacy, we will get 1. Out of these three member forces, we have to select any one of the member force as the redundant. I am going to take the member force AD as the redundant. Now we have to find the member forces in terms of FAD because that is the redundant. Let us take the joint D and find the member forces. This angle will be 90 minus 30. So it will be 60 and this angle will be 90 minus 45. So it will be 45. Here I have taken the joint D. I am going to use the method of joints to find the member forces. In this process I am going to only use cos theta. If you want to use sin theta as well it is up to you. This angle will be 90 minus 60 so it will be 30. And this angle will be 90 minus 45 so it will be 45. First, let us use the rule sigma h is equal to 0. FAD is inclined. We have to resolve it in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need 30 degree. So, with the FAD, we have to multiply cos 30. Since it is acting towards the left side, it will be negative. FCD is also inclined. We have to keep it horizontal. To keep it horizontal, we need 45 degree. So with the FCD, we have to multiply cos 45. Since it is acting towards the right side, it will be positive. We know that we have to find FCD in terms of FAD. Now let us apply this rule. We have to resolve FAD in the vertical direction. To keep it vertical, we need 60 degree. So with the FAD, we have to multiply cos 60. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive. FCD is also inclined. We have to keep it vertical. To keep it vertical, we need 45 degree. So with the FCD, we have to multiply cos 45. Since it is acting upwards, it will be positive. FBD is acting upwards, so it will be positive. This load is acting downwards, so it will be negative. We need to find FBD in terms of FAD. Now we have to make this a table. In the table, first we have to enter all of the members. Then we have to enter the member forces just before we have found them. Now we have to differentiate the member forces with respect to FAD. For FAD, it will be 1. For 20, it will be 0. For FAD, it will be 1. 1 into minus 1.366. We will get to minus 1.366. For FAD, the differentiation will be 1, 1 into 1.225, it will be 1.225. Then we have to enter the length of the members. Length of BD is given in the question as 4 meter. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, sin 30 will be equal to the opposite side 4 meter upon the hypotenuse side AD. In this way for AD, we will get 8 meter. Now let us take this uh, triangle. In this uh, triangle, sin 45 will be equal to the opposite side 4 meter upon the hypotenuse side CD. In this way for CD, we will get 5.657 meter. Then we have to find this. We have to multiply these three terms so that we will get this. We need to add these three so that we will get this. From the previous numerical, we know that this is the formula we are using in the strain energy method analysis of trusses. Nothing is mentioned about the area and Young's modulus in the question. 
so that we can assume that both of them are common for all of the members we can take both of them on the left side and we can take ae on the other side 0 into ae it will be 0 this one we have found we can apply that for fad we will get 4.56 kilo newton in these three we can apply the value of fad so that we will get the member forces in bd and cd let us do one more numerical in this numerical the area of all of the members are given in the table we have to add one more column in the column we have to enter all of the area values then we have to find this then we have to add these three so that we will get this Young's modulus is not given in the question we can assume that it is common for all of the members we can take one upon e outside and we can take e on the other side 0 into e it will be 0 this one we have found let us apply that finally for fad we will get a 6.49 kilo newton we have got a positive value that means it is tensile we can apply the value of fad so that we will get the member forces in bd and cd all three of them are positive that means all three of them are tensile in nature now let us see one more numerical in this one there is additionally one member ed we have to find the length of ED. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use a sine theta formula. Sine 50 will be equal to the opposite side 4 meter upon the hypotenuse side ED. In this way, for the length of ED, we will get 5.222 meter. Let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. We know that M is the number of the members. Now there are 4 members, so 4 minus 2 into 1, we will get 2. Out of the 4 members, we have to keep any 2 of them as the redundant forces. I am going to keep AD and ED as the redundant forces. Let us take the joint D and to find the member forces. We need to find the member forces in terms of FAD and FED. This angle will be 90 minus 30 so it will be 60 we know that this angle is 40 so this angle will be 60 minus 40 so it will be 20 first let us apply this rule when we compare this one with the previous numerical everything is the same except that we have one additional member FED these two we know how it comes we have to resolve FED in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. This angle will be 30 plus 20, so it will be 50. So we have to multiply FED with the cos 50. Since it is acting towards the left side, it will be negative. Then we have to find FCD in terms of FAD and FED. Let us apply this rule. We know how these four come. Now additionally we have FED, we have to keep FED in the vertical direction, to keep it vertical we need this angle. So with the FED we have to multiply cos 40, since it is acting upwards it will be positive. For FCD we have to apply this and then multiply this with the cos 45. We need to find FBD in terms of FAD and FED. Now we have to make this a table. In the table, we need to enter the forces. Then we have to partially differentiate the forces with respect to FAD. For FAD, it will be 1. In these two terms, there is no FAD. So the differentiation will be 0. For FAD, the differentiation will be 1. 1 into minus 1.366, we will get this. This term will be 0. For FAD, it will be 1. 1 into 1.225. It will be 1.225. In this term, there is no FAD, so it will be 0. Then we have to differentiate the forces with respect to FED. Here, there is no FED, so the differentiation will be 0. These two terms, so the differentiation will be 0. For FED, it will be 1. 1 into minus 1.409, we will get this. 
for this term the differentiation will be 0 for FED it will be 1 1 into 0 0.909 it will be 0 0.909 for FED the differentiation will be 1 then we have to enter all of the lens we need to find these and then we have to find these using these two equations we can make these two equations now we have two equations using your calculator we can solve them after solving we will get FAD and FED for both of them we have got positive values that means both of them are tensile in this we can apply the values of FAD and FED so that we can find all of the member forces now we are going to end this session Thank you for watching this video.